Most Americans live within 100 miles of a coast, which means many people are vulnerable to sea level rise and damaging coastal storms. The NOAA Coastal Services Center developed the Sea Level Rise Viewer so people can access data and information about the risks of sea level rise, as well as storm surge and flooding. The Sea Level Rise Viewer covers coastlines bordering much of the United States. The map lets you zoom in as far as individual buildings at whatever scale you need. A slider allows you to imagine sea level at high tide as we experience it today or up to six feet higher. Community planners can use the confidence tool to identify flood prone areas. The marsh tool maps shoreline characteristics. Switching on vulnerability highlights areas where people are at particular risk to the damaging effects of flooding. The tool allows planners to take into account social and economic factors. Community leaders in the city of Tybee Island, Georgia, use the Sea Level Rise Viewer to identify vulnerable infrastructure and to prioritize upgrades. They found that the only causeway onto their island was threatened by a foot of sea level rise. They will need to rebuild or recondition their causeway to reduce risk to it and to the people who depend on it. Proactively identifying and reducing risk to people and infrastructure is climate smart. For climate.gov, I'm Ned Gardner.